And Fox 10 News first brought you to the Naval Air Technical Training Center. It was to take you through Air Traffic Control School. And now new tonight at 9, we're going behind the scenes, meeting with the mechanics who have all the tall task of getting the Navy planes in the air and keeping them there. Fox News reporter Russell Colburn has the story aboard Naval Air Station Pensacola. They are the Navy's unsung heroes, the men and women chosen to work on the mechanical aspects of the fleet. As Petty Officer First Class Paul Mikowajewski tells me, these aviation structural mechanics are responsible for 80% of the plane. Some of the repairs these sailors make will stand true for 30 years. And they have to be precise, as much more hangs in the balance than an instructor reprimand. So many lives are in, in their hands. The pilots get on the aircraft, uh, and they hope to come back to their family, and these guys make sure that they do. It's a big responsibility. Uh... I think that we do have a lot at stake, messing something up, so we have to do everything to the T. Today, students work on a simulated wing assembly. But when they finish, instructors give them some new repairs to make. This structure is ours. All of the hydraulics are ours. Uh, and after that, all that's left is engine and, and electronics. And we caught up to those handling some of the last 20% of the aircraft. Aviation machinist mates work on F-18 engine components. During their six weeks of training here, they go through aviation physics and theory, as well as all the major components and sections of the engine, preparing them for what they're going to be doing out in the fleet. It's like every uh, good race team needs a good pit crew. We uh, maintain and make sure that the pilots can complete their missions and support the troops on the ground. Uh, we, without us, the uh, planes don't fly. These F-18 engines put out 18,000 pounds of thrust per square inch. Now, in layman's terms, they do for a jet what a Corvette engine would do for a go-kart. If F-18 is sounding familiar to you, this is probably why. Chances are you've seen these jets dipping and diving in demonstrations along the Gulf Coast. Reporting on NAS Pensacola, Russell Colburn, Fox 10 News. Now, these sailors will be going through at least six weeks of training. Be sure to continue to follow Fox 10's coverage of the Nat Center instruction. Up next, we'll take you behind the scenes into the bomb assembly.